we have better options than having to install Firefox and manually harden it. And the reason for that is because we have so many great browser options. So if we look here on the techler.tech slash resources page, all of these browsers are doing some incredible things just by default. So the Tor browser, as we all know, is probably one of the best browsers from a fingerprinting perspective, and it's designed to blend users together. And this kind of fingerprint resistance was one of the reasons why people hardened Firefox, but that ironically made everyone stand out because it seemed like everyone hardened Firefox in a slightly different way. So this kind of perk was reserved just for the Tor browser, which for the record did exist before um, when people were hardening Firefox a lot, but um, that came at the expense of having to go through the Tor network. But that's why I'm so excited for Mulvad Browser, because Mulvad Browser perfectly fits in there, because what if you want to have essentially the benefits of the Tor Browser without having to use the Tor network? Now, that's where Mulvad came in and said, we're going to develop the Mulvad Browser. Now, again, the Mulvad Browser is an official collaboration with the Tor Browser. So this isn't some, like, fork run by two people who are just doing their best to keep this afloat. This is actually, like partially maintained by the Tor browser project. So if you're someone who trusts the Tor browser and the Tor project, which I have no reason to tell you why you shouldn't, um, they're also helping out Mulvad, which also has just a spotless reputation in the VPN community. And the cool thing is that if you're using Mulvad VPN along with Mulvad browser, you're actually getting some of the benefits that you might be getting by using the Tor browser, because at least you're also getting some of that IP protection as well. Though it's not again through the anonymity Tor network, it's still there. And also, it's worth mentioning that projects like LibreWolf are still here, and they still are doing things to pretty much make a pre-hardened Firefox a thing that you can do right now. And even if you're not going for the Firefox stuff, Brave, I know we just covered how Brave is actually reducing some of their protections, but Brave out of the box does a lot of things that Firefox does. Perhaps not as good as a hardened Firefox, but even if you look here at privacytest.org, you can see a lot of the areas where Brave actually competes um, with Firefox. Um, and actually, the better comparison in my book would be Brave versus LibreWolf or Mulvad. So you can take a look to see how Brave compares to LibreWolf and Mulvad, and I think it's overall not quite as strong, but that you can tell they're not too far off from each other. I do want to mention, even if you don't touch a single Firefox setting, if you just install Firefox and install uBlock Origin, Mozilla's actually taken care of a lot of things in Firefox now. It's not that it doesn't make Firefox hardening still beneficial for a lot of people. It's just that I think that they've really closed the gap um, significantly in the last five years or so because they've enabled so many great things by default that used to have to be done through extensions or they used to have to be done through the about config menu. So also props to Mozilla.